On this video, I will give you my three best tips for becoming a better World of Tanks Blitz player. Assume the worst. Enemies might just be anywhere, especially right in front of you. And especially if there is some bush or something right in front that is just out of your view range, you can always assume, as long as you don't know better, there might be someone. So, especially for the first minute or two in the game, there is often the case that you're not having the most information just yet. And if you're moving forward slowly, then you are seeing sometimes, oh, wait, there is an enemy sitting in the corner or on a hill right in front, which you probably don't think makes a lot of sense, but still people don't have rules to where to go and some beginners might be in a very weird position sometimes. And it's not necessarily only the case that only TDs are camping, it might be the mediums, heavies as well. So be very careful about that. So all the unspotted tanks are just a big risk to you. You have to be aware of what your teammates are spotting and what happens on the minimap as well, just so you gather some information and it is also very helpful if you are capable and knowing of the first spotting positions, which I do show in detail on my map guides, by the way, so maybe have a look at that later on. Still, everything that is just not being spotted might be anywhere on the map and sometimes in the worst of all cases, cases you are just moving the way forwards and just not expecting anything and the enemies are just all in spawn just all turning their turret not knowing what to do looking at the others waiting for someone to move and no one really does but then as soon as someone's just getting to their front they suddenly all have an idea and just all push you and if you are too aggressive there then you're dying immediately and you're losing the game to someone who does have no clue how to play actually also, I want you to take note that just because an enemy is suddenly unspotted does not mean he disappeared. He might still come for you. Do not count on your luck more skill. I know a lot of people are quite confident in their aiming and capabilities and they do think they can just out trade enemies that are to their front but that doesn't really get you to more than 55% win rate because you're always depending on the RNG to some degree as well and especially if you're playing some tank with an accurate gun but not a lot of armor and just peeking at another TD with a big gun like a 183 or whatever you might think okay I'm just putting out a quick snapshot he's not gone to get me but what if he does the enemy might just put a big shot into you and absolutely ruin your game so just be smart and just think of what else can you do if the enemy is pre-aiming you already then maybe just don't peek out there if you are not having a tank that is much better armored than the enemy and just go out try to run away or try to find another angle for shooting some other target that is just not paying attention to you so you can get some free damage there of course every tank has some weak spots but some of them are very hard to hit and especially if you're just not having the best tank with a lot of armor then the enemy is just much more likely to pen you even with the worst aiming but just assume that anyone above 55 percent win rate something does have a good aiming and the game is mostly about just outplaying the enemies via tactics and moving around the map not just about the 1v1 never give up that is also something that I'm seeing way too often and you should never do actually. People giving up because their teammates are not doing what they expect them to do and so they are just raising the gun and saying all noobs whatever complaining on the chat and just not moving anymore. But often it is the case that you are still able to win a game even if it looks really really bad for you. Just try your best at all times, try to fight for your life and you might be surprised what kind of games you can still win sometimes 1v3 situations or whatever you're still having a chance even if it really looks badly sometimes some enemy goes afk but also you've got to keep in mind that while it is not absolutely balanced on the matchmaking if you got some bad teammates the enemies are likely to have some bad players as well apart from that what does count on the stats for one you can sort your tanks after win rate but after that you can look at experience gathered or just the 
completely damaged. The experience just depends on a premium time active, so it doesn't really matter. So it is mostly win rate and damage. So if you cannot win the game, why not just try to get a lot of damage? And even if you are just losing the game, you can still have a very exciting, good game after all, if you manage to rack up the big numbers. So for me personally, I'll be much happier with a very close defeat than a win where I cannot do much at all. That's already it guys, those three tips hopefully elevate your gameplay as well. If you enjoyed this content then don't forget to smash that like button, leave a subscription and also follow me on Twitch down on the link below. I'll see you guys on the next one. This is Nano, goodbye.